thing that would ignite, a big puff of smoke would come up, it would clear, and Captain Marvel would be standing there. So one day we decided, Les and I, because Les had a great sense of humor, he didn't tell anybody, cameraman, anything. I said, Shazam, boom, thing lit, smoke filled the air, the smoke cleared. Les was staying there in Captain Marvel's outfit. <laughs> sort of smoking, too, because that thing went off, you almost got singed. So that was pretty funny. Another one was when Les was supposed to be standing, sitting in a tree watching me. And all these red ants started crawling up his leg, the poor guy. So he's sitting there getting bit by red ants. And trying not to show it, because he's an actor. Sure. You know, nothing is supposed to you know, interfere with your part. So he's sitting there getting bitten and not going out of character. But Les was a wonderful guy. He and I really became very good friends. And it was, I was impressed. When I first walked into, into Filmation's office, when I was told I had the part, I walked in, Les Tremaine was sitting there. I was like, oh, wow, I'm going to work with Les Tremaine. He's a legend, literally. So I loved Les. He was a great guy. Unfortunately, he's gone now. He made it to 91. He's gone. Yeah. So, so I, I don't have any favorites, but he, he was just a tremendous guy. I'll tell you a quick one, actually. I invited Les and his wife to come visit my parents. They were living in Monterey County. So I invited Les and his wife up, and my mother and father were impressed because they just listened to radio and they knew who Les Tremaine. Little Theater Out Times Square, Jack Armstrong, All American Boys, all the show that he did on the radio. So my parents were impressed they're going to meet Les Tremaine. So Les and my wife, my, my mother and my father and I, and Les's wife, Joni, were sitting having dinner. And Les is telling stories about all the people he worked with, all the celebrities he worked with. And my dad always wanted to be the center of attention. Well, this night he wasn't. So my mother was. She's like, this is great, Les Tremaine. But after Les left with his wife, my father said, quite an ego on that guy. And I thought, that's Les Tremaine, man. <laughs> I told Les he got a good laugh out of it. He was just telling stories about who he worked with over, you know, 50 years in the business. Yeah. How familiar were you guys with the character in the comic books before getting the roles? I wasn't. I read Batman comics, Superman comics, and a bunch of other comics way back in the 60s and 50s and whatnot. But uh, I had to learn quickly. Yeah, because you were playing Billy Batson a little older than what he was in the comics, too. So I wonder what yeah. the choice, like, what the decision of the producers, I guess, you know, behind that was. Did you ever know, like, the age Well, they told me or? I was playing a 16-year-old. I was well into my 20s at the time. But I looked very young, so yeah. I just had to consider all the time I'm 16 years old. I had to play 16 years old. So the only thing I had to do to keep me looking 16 was they had me shave twice or three times a day. Because 16 year old didn't have 5 o'clock shadow at 1 o'clock in the afternoon. <laughs> <laughs> the cameraman would be looking through the lens and go, shave him. <laughs> I didn't shave me. But as an actor, you had a bomb playing 16. Some people didn't understand that. How could you be that old playing 16? I was acting. I was playing Billy. I wasn't Billy. But I learned quickly and I, I enjoyed the part. And actually, I got to meet Frank Coughlin Jr., the original Billy Batson. He did an episode of Shazam. We were shooting at the L.A. County Zoo one day, and nobody realized that Frank Codlin Jr. was working there. So when the directors found out about it, they gave him a small part in it, and I got to do a scene with him. So nice. it was Billy Meet Billy from the 1940s. <laughs> from the that was cereals? Pretty cool. yeah. Yeah. Very nice wow. guy. Yeah. Okay, yeah, I, I, got that, uh, I got that cereal you're talking about, the black yeah. and white one. Yeah, I got that on Blu-ray last year and watched it, and that was just very interesting. So yeah, that must have been a real charge to work with him. It was very cool. Yeah. yeah. Now I'm gonna go, now I'm gonna go yeah. dig through my DVDs and watch that, find that episode and watch it. Yeah, it's cool. <laughs> There's me and Frank and Les Tremaine stand right behind the little golf cart that Frank was driving in. So it was pretty cool meeting him. Yeah, mm -hmm. it was neat. So that wasn't planned. That was just an accident that he happened to be there. Yeah. Oh, that's pretty there cool. Out. Frank's working on the, on, the, on the zoo. No kidding. So they put him in the episode. Yeah. Just an accident. Coincidence. Small planet effect. <laughs> yeah, pretty cool. What were each of your favorite episodes? Mine was a little boy lost. It was about a little child who had some mental issues, and he wanted a puppy, and his father didn't want him to have a puppy. 
and it was a great episode. It was written really well. The kid was a great little actor, and there's a scene where I have to go in the water. I didn't say Shazam. I had to go into the ocean and rescue him. He was on a rock with this little puppy. The puppy was adorable. He was adorable. So I had to go out there up to my neck in water, cold water, the same water where the sharks were, actually, <laughs> and pull this kid and this dog off the rock and bring him ashore, and then we finished the episode. That was my favorite episode, Little Boy Lost. It was a great episode. My favorite was Double Trouble because it was all about me. <laughs> uh, actor's dream. Yeah, I, I played the Captain Marvel, comes to the rescue of some bank robber or something that's dressed up like Captain Marvel. And so Captain Marvel was in it a, a lot. Whereas you, the Captain Marvel, isn't in it very much. <laughs> so uh, that's my favorite. Yeah, if I didn't want him in an episode, I didn't say Shazam. <laughs> with my episode, with less. <laughs> Occasionally I say Shazam and he'd show up. <laughs> Sir? I'm not sure if you already covered this, but your crossover episode with the uh, ISIS program. Do you have any um, memories about that with, with the actors? I only got to do it once, one episode. John got to work with it more than I did. So I was one episode with me. I don't remember the name of the episode, but I got to work with her. Uh, nice lady. Yep. But John again I had to work with her more than I did. So. Yeah, I remember uh, the fr first time I met uh, Joanna Cameron when they brought me in for one of the episodes. I wasn't sure how to pronounce the name of the show, Isis or Isis. No? So uh, when I when I met her. I asked her, I said, Joanna, is it, do you pronounce this uh, Isis or Isis? And she said, it's Isis, Captain Marvel. <laughs> <laughs> well, hey, you were not sure in asking, so you had a really nice response. Uh, a little testy. <laughs> but she was, she was, I, you know, I, I don't want to make it sound like she was a, you know, hard case to work with. She was, she was really a nice gal. And fun to work with. Yes, sir. Uh, what other things did you guys act in before the Shazam show? I've done a few uh, uh, episodic television. Uh, Barnaby Jones and Rockford Files and Bob Bob Black Sheep. So I, I, I stayed pretty busy before. <coughs> and that's kind of why I had kind of a panic attack before I, uh, because I thought, you know, that, that it somehow was going to interfere with my career. You know? As it turned out, I, and I thought, I thought this is going to be the bottom of my career. And it turns out it was the top of my career. <laughs> so. All right, well. I was going to Pasadena Playhouse studying acting and I got out and I got an agent and I started working. So I was doing a lot of small parts and a lot of shows before. Marcus Welby, The Flying Nun, Room 222. Uh, I did a pilot for a show called Bobby Joe and the Big Apple Good Time Band. It was about a, a rock group put together. Forrest Tucker was our manager. Uh, John Bender Perry was in it. Um, not a very talented, Ed Begley Jr., very talented cast. So I was doing small parts here and there in different shows and the pilot, which didn't sell. And then I uh, was cast in a series called The Little People. It was also called The Brian Keith Show. I did that in 1972 in Hawaii, where Brian Keith and Shelley Fabray starred in the show as pediatricians of the Little People. They worked on Little People. And I was a kid who was in high school who worked in the doctor's office after school. So it was my first series. We shot 26 episodes in Hawaii. And the show was renewed for a second season, but I wasn't renewed. There was uh, some issues. I was uh, all over Tiger Beat magazine, the covers and whatnot. And because one day one of the kids on the show brought a magazine on and said, Michael Gray is star, uh, star of the Little People. Well, I was not the star of the Little People. And the second year, I wasn't even in the Little People. So I learned about um, politics in the business. 
Then I did a movie of the week with Brian, with uh, Burt Reynolds called Run, Simon, Run, and played his brother. Then I did an episode of Brady Bunch. I played Marsha's boyfriend in an episode. And then I was Shazam. So everything I was doing was small parts except for the series the Little, the Little People, which uh, I was only on for one season. And Shazam was really the cornerstone of my career at this point. It still is. This might, have been, this might have been asked, but uh, what was it like? How did you get the part? How to get the part? Mm -hmm. Well, because of my success before Shazam, doing Little People and other shows, and I was on cover of all these magazines and whatnot, uh, they just basically called my agent and said, is Michael Gray available to play Billy Batson in Shazam? So I didn't audition or anything. <clears throat> and I got in my car and drove out to Formation Studios and walked in. I saw Les Tremaine sitting there. And, that was it. That's why I got the part. When you're a working actor, you don't have to audition sometimes. They call you, which is nice. Now I'm not a working actor again. I'm a working con guy. So, <laughs> Except for Archer. I've been steadily working Archer for a couple of years and hopefully do it again. Actually, you just contacted me and said I'll be doing two more episodes next season. So Sometimes you don't have to audition. Other times you do. You guys ever think about getting the RV back? I would love to get the RV back. No one knows what happened to it. It sort of vanished. Yeah. It would be fun to bring some of these cons. Right, yeah. yeah it really would. real find if it yeah. found the real uh, RV. Yeah. yeah, it's gone with the wind. Yeah. How was it working with the comic book man? Fun. Yeah, it looks like it. Yeah, they contacted me and they flew me back to New Jersey. And it was fun. I walked on the set. They said, okay, Michael, go on, you're on. And I walked on, and everybody was dressed normally. And I was supposed to be um, very good friends with one of the guys on the show, Ming, one of the guys on the show. We hey, were best friends, supposedly. And we're going to go do a Comic-Con together. So we walked out the door, came back in again, and everybody was wearing Philly shirts. Like, that's really cool. And they gave me one. <coughs> I still have it, because I didn't have a shirt before. So I enjoyed doing the show, it was a lot of fun, and I was hoping to go back and do it again, but unfortunately I got canceled. Yep. Yeah. Jackson was here last year and he wasn't, uh, he made it pretty clear he wasn't a big fan of the new Shazam movie. Did either of you uh, see the new movie and your thoughts on it? Yeah, um, well, my wife and I saw the movie uh, a couple of months ago. And uh, we thought it was very entertaining, enjoyable. Uh, it wasn't like it, it was a whole different take on, on the character, but we we enjoyed it. Yeah, that's that's the main thing. Uh, they, I said, it's for to make a product that people enjoy. And we enjoyed it. I agree. It was it was different than our show, but. A lot of Shazam fans did not like it because it was different than the original series. Uh, I didn't know what to expect when I saw it, but it was entertaining, it was a comedy. It was totally different than our show. So um, DC did what they did, and it was an entertaining movie. It wasn't what I expected, but uh, like I said earlier, I think, we met Zach Levi and Asher Angel, and <laughs> of both nice guys, they both did a good job, but it was just it was a different you know, than the series. It is what it is. You can't, you know, deal with DC. DC does what they want to do. Yeah, so does Warner Brothers. So, I don't know how much more time we have. So, yeah, I was about to say probably one last question, maybe. Sure. Okay. What do you guys want to do? You guys are in charge. Yeah. <laughs> Anybody have another question? Is this your first time in Michigan? How about that? <laughs> I was here in uh, Grand Rapids doing, um, back in the 70s we did auto shows, there were no cons back then. So every weekend we were at a different auto show all across the country. So I did one in Grand Rapids, it was the International Auto Show. And um, I did it in Grand Rapids, so it was my first time. In, I was born in Chicago, but left when I was very young. But it was my first time in Michigan, it was Grand Rapids. And it was February and it was cold. <laughs> a lot colder than it is here. A lot more snow. This is my first time awesome. in Michigan. I'm enjoying myself at the
People are great. You, you people are great. Really, yeah. really having a good time. We are having a good time. It's one of the better cons we've done because the people are just great and we've met everybody and people are appreciative that we're here. Because I used to get a lot of Facebook questions when you guys come into the Midwest and Mike DeSantis has finally invited us and we're enjoying it here. Good luck everybody. Awesome. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you guys for coming. Thanks for coming to the panel.